This PetX Talk is brought to you by Pet World Media Group, your partner in all things pet media. Additional funding and considerations provided by Nature of Pets, Project Blue Collar, and Dogwise Publishing. Are you ready to be empowered? Then join us for this PetX Talk. Hello, my name is John Leverett. I'm the co-founder of Welly Tales. We make natural health products, supplements, and foods for pets. Today I'm going to be speaking about fish oil and the benefits, the marvels of fish oil, as well as some of the key things you need to be looking for when you're shopping and buying a fish oil for your furry friend. The most important thing to remember is that you are looking for a marine oil or a fish oil because fish oil has some really key amazing ingredients. It contains the essential fatty acids EPA and DHA. And unlike a plant, like a flaxseed or a walnut oil, you have a omega-3 that is highly bioavailable when you're feeding a marine or an algae oil to your cat or your dog. Plant-based omega-3s are fine. They help with some skin and coat and they help balance out the omega-6 and the omega-3 ratios. With today's diets, typically ourselves and our pets are getting much too much omega-6s. So feeding a plant-based omega-3, the ALA from plants, does help with that ratio coming back into a proper area of about a five parts of omega-6 to one part of omega-3. Uh, now critically though, the bioactive EPA and DHA from marine is what you want to be spending your money on because those provide the greatest benefit to skin and coat. They provide anti-inflammatory effects which is great for joint as well as they're wonderful for eye, nerve, and brain development, especially in puppies. Young puppies just really need their DHA because it really helps them with nerve, eye, and brain development, and you end up with a smarter, more easily trained puppy. Some of the key things to look for when you're shopping for your fish oil is that it is fresh. Don't buy a fish oil that's in a shampoo bottle because air going into a fish oil turns it rancid, it oxidizes, and it becomes very harmful to your pet, and you don't want to do that. So purchase something in an airless pump or purchase a fish oil in a very small bottle so that you're not getting a rancid oxidized oil. The big value jugs really don't work out well in the end because a rancid oxidized oil is harmful, not something you want to be feeding your pets. Thank you for listening. John, thank you for that wonderful PetX talk. I want to ask you a question that I think most pet parents are asking themselves after your talk. What are the differences between plant-based omega-3s versus fish-based omega-3s? The difference is chain link, the length of the carbon chain that makes up the molecule. A basic fat is made up of three components where you have various alcohol chains tying into a glycerin backbone. It's all science, but not to worry about it. Think of it as the length of chain. If your car is at the bottom of a ditch, you want a long chain to pull you out. A short chain isn't going to do the job. Another way to think of it is a plant-based omega-3, which is short chain ALA from flaxseed, say, or walnut oil or a canola oil, doesn't have the high bioavailable, the high biofunction. What the body does, it basically uses an enzyme system to lengthen that ALA chain into the long EPA and then the longer DHA. DHA omega-3 is what's in your brain, your eye, your nerves. It's the most highly functional omega-3 in the body. Although it's not considered the essential omega-3 by the government or AFCO because plant-based omega-3 ALA in the body can be made into the high biologically functional EPA and DHA. Another way to think of it is cars. ALA plant-based omega-3 is like your bicycle. Pretty good, better than your shoes, but EPA and DHA are like Lamborghinis and Ferraris in the body. They really move and do the job. You also brought up another interesting topic that I think caught most pet parents by a little bit of surprise, and that is the impact that air and how we store our omega-3 oils can impact the importance and also the effect that it has. Fish oils get oxidized by the air and oxygen. 
and it's like setting fire to the product. It really does make it go rancid. And basically what happens is a rancid oxidized oil going into the body depletes your own antioxidant reserves. So you need to take a lot more vitamin C, a lot more vitamin E, the antioxidants, phytonutrients, to basically fight the free radicals in your body that a rancid oil causes. So when you have air touching your omega-3 fish oil, it goes rancid. Think of it, the fresh fish. A fish is caught, it's immediately put on ice. When you go to the grocery store, you see fish, it's iced, it doesn't smell horribly fishy and rotted and rancid, it's a fresh fish. Well, that's the same with your oils. So a fresh oil really doesn't smell horribly fishy or rancid or awful, it's a pleasant neutral flavor. Where an oxidized rancid oil is smells horrid, it's dark, and it's very harmful to your cat, your dog, or if yourself taking that kind of an oil. So it's key to always have an airless pump, not a shampoo bottle pump, or to have fish oil in a very small package so air doesn't get into it and it doesn't oxidize and make it go rancid. Because basically, if you've got an open container and it's open for more than two weeks, you're basically doing harm, not good. Well, thank you so much for sharing this important information. We really appreciate you sharing your knowledge. Thank you, Robert. Thank you for watching this PetX Talk. For more information on John Leverus, visit wellytales.com. Funding for PetX Talks is provided by Pet World Media Group, your partner in all things pet media. Additional funding and considerations for PetX Talks is provided by Nature of Pets. Nature of Pets can help you optimize your pet's health with premium organic supplements from the Amazon and Andes Mountains. Visit natureofpets.com. Dogwise Publishing, all things dog. For all of your expert dog book needs, visit dogwise.com. Project Blue Collar, Support the Underdog is a movement to publicly identify and celebrate the rescue dog. Visit projectbluecollar.com. Special thanks to Pet World Insider, taking you inside the world of pets. Visit PetWorldInsider.com for more expert radio interviews, articles, and videos. This has been a Pet World Media Group production.